Believe me, this is not a case study. It is a journey. It is a journey for Airtel, which has came up with the world's strongest telecom brand. And the way the Sunil Bharti Mitra has actually worked on this brand, and even Sanjay has actually worked on this brand, is unbelievable. The credit goes to, first of all, to Sunil Bharti Mitra. He is the owner and founder and the chairman of Airtel Bharti Group. Then to Himan Sastey, who is actually who worked uh, as the chairman for the Bharti Airtel Bharti, and then. Rediffusion DIY. Have you heard about it? Rediffusion. Rediffusion is an advertisement agency, advertisement agency for uh, Airtel. And the way the, all the ads were made, all the campaigns were designed, it was done by uh, uh, Rediffusion Young and Ruby Cam. So the way they developed this brand, the repositioning and all, it's a it's a big uh, study. I mean, it's a big journey for them. So it will be a long presentation, but we will not be getting bored. But because we have ample videos for you. Where we will be asking questions, we will, it, it will be more of an interactive session. Because all of you know about Airtel. This is not a topic presentation that what you don't know. It is air, about Airtel. You all know about Airtel. It's a journey for uh, with uh, every one of us. So, this is a journey, it's not a case study, but I believe. And uh, I think Atul will be starting with it initially. Airtel position and repositioning. Uh, according to Bharti, uh, uh, it was born free, a force unleashed into the market with a relentless and unwavering determination to succeed, a spirit charged with energy, creativity and a team driven to seize the day, with an ambition to become the most globally admired telecom service. This is initial branding. Uh, in the initial days, due to high tariff rates, cellular players had to impose high cost charges on their customers and the hands handsets were costly. Uh, uh, when, when mobile launches, uh, there, there, there is uh, no one has mobile because of uh, high tariff rates. Uh, so the companies were, uh, were targeting customers of uh, businessmen and uh, high profile people. Naturally, they targeted the elite of market professionals and entrepreneurs as customers. It was positioned as an aspirational and lifestyle brand. Uh, it was pitched not merely a mobile service but as, but as something that gave consumer a bad value. The, the brand was developed to honor the, the leadership in network innovations, offerings and services. The tagline like it is celebrates the, the spirit of leadership and the first choice of the corporate leaders emphasized that stains. The leadership campaign was reportedly successful and resulted in minor improvement in ATEL performance. Leadership to touch tomorrow will be taken now. Okay. So, since we were very young that time when the ATEL leadership campaign was launched, we were like 10 or 20 years old, so we don't exactly remember. Uh, something about the Airtel leadership campaign. I'll tell you something which he has discussed already. Actually, when this cellular services was launched, you know the call rates were too high. You know, for incoming you have to pay 16 rupees per minute. It was costing too much. So initially, what they the positioning they have done is they have targeted only the business leaders and the corporate leaders who can actually afford a cell phone because that time you know even incoming you have to pay for this. So think about those days. If, if you, I think uh, some of you can remember those days. When they were charging for incoming also. Yeah. 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 So that was the initial strategy. And therefore the leadership campaign was launched by Airtel. So as to target only the business leaders. So this is the initial positioning. They have first positioned themselves as uh, a brand for the leaders, a brand for uh, you know business corporate uh, leaders. This is the initial branding they have done. And can you move to the back side, please? Back slide, back side. Fine. This one. Yeah. They targeted any group. The upmarket professionals and entrepreneurs as customers. So they don't want to uh, proliferate in the common market. It's only about the business leaders. Initially, they have managed, they have positioned themselves as a brand for business leaders. And the title was Edel Separate the Spirit of Leadership and the first choice of the corporate leaders. This is how they have developed initial branding. So this is the first positioning they have done. And this is how you came to know what Airtel is. Initially, Bharti was in business, it was in cycle manufacturing business, cycle uh, parts manufacturing business, it was there already, but nobody was knowing about Airtel. So, this is how the brand Airtel was developed, the brand Bharti and Airtel was developed. Next. Back. Now, leadership to touch tomorrow. Next. You, you, you might somehow you know, remember.
nothing but dust tomorrow campaign which was lost actually what happened in this time is government reduced the tariffs and taxes this leads to the emergence of a huge customer base the tariffs and taxes were suddenly reduced they were reduced to near about 400% and a broader sector that not only had qualities like leadership performance dynamism but also with the support of values like courtesy politeness and efficiency now see this is the first repositioning initially to leadership then to a brand which is performance dynamism and courtesy and politeness and efficiency see the repositioning Other players also started imitating strategies followed by Airtel by offering same type of schemes and facilities. Facilities BSNL came up with. I uh, know so many plans that time. Then finally, Idea Server came up with uh, something. The small companies like Spice, the small companies like BPL, which actually came in small areas. So they actually copied Airtel somehow. And during late 1990s, many national and international players started entering into the Indian telecom market. Now here starts the journey of the Indian cellular market. Uh, in the starting, it was only about Airtel launching some products only for the special leaders. That's it. Now here starts the journey. Next, this is the lift of uh, this is the touch to more campaign. This is not in early 2000s. It was observed through market surveys that the concept of leadership was undergoing a transformation, resulting in being a moderate success. You know, leadership was a moderate success because in India you don't have more than 10 lakh business leaders, or say more not more than 20 lakh business leaders. So the market was quite saturated. You know, and has Bharti decided to humanize the brand Airtel to gain competitive advantage? Now the human humanization concept came into existence, and that's what the Touch Tomorrow campaign was launched and the repositioning was done. In August 2000, Bharti launched the new Touch Tomorrow campaign, which aimed at strengthening the relationship with the customer and make the brand softer to cater a wide variety of people across the society. Because since 2000, there were many people who were actually in a condition to afford the cellular services. Initially, it was like 16 rupees for uh, you know incoming call. It's better to take a landline and call. That's it. I mean, nobody wants to talk from cell phone except the business leaders and who are always out of work and they want to. So now in 2000, they are being now trying to become a a common brand, a brand for common people, and that's how Airtel started the journey. A company now to the three-tier network. I think if you read the case study, that the three-tier network was explained. Uh, it was a three-tier brand architecture to explain the touch point network. Next, I'll explain you that three-tier structure. This is the three-tier structure for Airtel. Tier one is a brand called Airtel. This is the parent brand. All of you know what the parent brand is. Airtel is the parent brand. Now below Airtel, in the tier two, you have the basic telephony services, the BTEL, which all of us heard. You have the national long-distance services. You have the brand service, and you have the mobile services. Broadband services and mobile services. On the tier two, you have these four things. Parent brand is Airtel. Under Airtel, you have these four things. Then on the third tier, even under you know the broadband, you have uh, free net, you have long distance, you have Tango internet, mobile. Tango was a service which was introduced by Airtel, and it got called back to in just two or three years. It was a mobile uh, internet service. So see, this is called the three tier structure. The parent brand, the two tier brands for different sectors, and then finally. Uh, this is called. Uh, this is actually uh, uh, what you call is a product brand uh, extension. We have uh, studied about it. Brand extension, right? Next slide. Uh, just back. Just one back slide. Special features like music download facility, SMS performance, uh, general packet, uh, radio services. The GPS was introduced at an affordable price. Yeah, that logo tomorrow, touch tomorrow. You 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 might, you might remember this one. It was already there on. Um, Beta and all. It's touch tomorrow. It's the initial logo. It was uh, next. The focus now was on the endless possibilities of technology to make life good and advertising became too prolonged. A product-driven communication that showcased new offering like the magic prepaid card and emotional communication that showed younger people. Now they are trying to target youth. Now the positioning starting for youth. Till now it was no youth. Now they are trying to target youth. And you might remember this card, the Magic Prepaid card. I hope some of you would have bought it. Nine ninety nine. Magic card. Everybody has bought it. So this is now next. Now, now the journey starts for advertisements. Till before this, there was only print ads and all. But Ready Fusion came with the uh, concept for the video ads, the television commercials for Airtel. And it is a blast, believe me. The way they have made the ads, the way they have.